Hi friends, welcome to the next video. Glad you're here. Today we're going to be looking at Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus Unpopular Opinions. Before we start, I just want to say thank you to all the people who commented their opinions on my post in fandom. There was a lot of material to choose from and it was interesting to see what everyone else thought. So, let's get started! Okay, so right off the bat, there are a lot of comments saying that the Percy Jackson movies could have been good if they weren't related to the books. The ones here were commented by Squidsigail, Henwe the 69th, and YY Rainbow. So actually, I do agree with this one because the Percy Jackson movies had a good storyline and everything, and a lot of people, including me, hated on them because they didn't follow the book at all. But if the books didn't exist, these movies could have actually been, like, good and, you know, pretty popular. And then Squidsicale also has, you know, another opinion saying that the only good books in the Heroes of Olympus series is Mark of Athena and Blood of Olympus. He's not wrong, but I did like the House of Hades. I didn't really like the Lost Hero, but... Well, there were also a lot of comments saying that Persebeth is overrated or that Perachel would have been better than Persebeth. And these three from were from JJ333888, Shadow Traveler EP, and Shrishti1862. So, yeah, I honestly, I don't, I, I don't really have an opinion on this one. Because I do kind of shit Persebeth, but per Rachel is also kind of cute. I mean, I like Rachel as a character, and Annabeth can be bossy sometimes. But I feel like they both would go pretty well with Percy. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have an opinion on this one. These two mentioned that Piper being bi was forced. Half-Blood Sam said that Piper's bi thing felt a bit forced, and Booksmart22 said that Piper is an amazing character, and Jason was really good, too. Per Rachel isn't actually a bad chip, which, as we mentioned, I don't really have an opinion on. And Piper's ending in Trials of Apollo didn't feel right and was forced. I agree, because, you know, Piper being bi, I was not seeing that coming. We just sort of left Piper alone for the entire Tyrant's Tomb. For, like, a lot of the Tyrant's Tomb. And then, you know... We just cut back to her at the very end of the series, and, you know, we see the end. We see her kissing a, another girl. Like, what? I wish, I wish we could have gotten, like, more background on that. Otherwise, it would have felt more natural, maybe, if we had gotten some more background on that. But, yeah. Here, Vonnie the Supreme Reader says that I think Jason should have died a better death, like with more gore? I don't know. Like, maybe he should have died like Leo when he died and then came back. I feel like this one is true, too. I, I didn't really feel that sad when Jason died, and if he died with more gore, I would have felt more sad, which is kind of like, you know, expected. And I, But I don't really mind whether he comes back to life or not, because I didn't really care much about Jason to begin with. He was kind of underdeveloped in Heroes of Olympus, so yeah, there wasn't much to care about. T-Rex737 says, Honestly, I felt no emotion when Jason died, which I kind of agree with. He was like the least developed character of the heroes, and I would have been perfectly fine without the Roman god camp. Like, keep Leo and Piper, but the Romans were just unneeded. I don't really agree with this one because the Roman camp provided a nice source of conflict in the Heroes of Olympus. But, like T-Rex 737, I didn't feel much emotion when Jason died either. And I do agree that Jason wasn't very developed, which I just mentioned like in the last opinion. The Oracle of Overanalyzing, I like your username by the way, says, oop, here's a couple more. Grover is boring and his friendship with Percy isn't very interesting. Leo isn't that great and is way overhyped. I don't think that Grover is that boring, but I do think that the friendship between Grover and Percy could have been better. Like, for example, in the Sea of Monsters, 
like basically it was Grover just asking help and being concerned because the empathy link might kill Percy if he died. So yeah, I feel like most of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, like the friendship with Grover was Grover Grover tagged along with them for, you know, in The Lightning Thief. And then he disappeared for one of the books. I don't remember which. And then, you know, it was mostly just Empathy Link stuff. So I feel like it could have been interesting. And then, I, I also think that Leo is a good character. But he is kind of rude when it comes to his jokes. But overall, I think Leo is a good character. Over here, Risen13 says... My least favorite character is Piper. Her character is too cliche and sometimes doesn't think things through. X example, Piper challenging Drew for head counselor when she hasn't even experienced a full day at camp. And I guess this is kind of true. I wouldn't go so far as to say she's my least favorite, but she doesn't think things through sometimes. In some cases, Rick Riordan tries to play this off as listening to her emotions instead of being over logical. Like when she and Annabeth were releasing the spirits of war in which one was it? Um, the blood of Olympus, I think. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure, but they were releasing the spirits of war for something. And so I say I would mostly agree with this one, actually. Addy2008 says that Octavian was a good guy. Sorry, but I don't really agree with this one. He tried to abuse his newfound power, which is never a really a good thing, and he wasn't being very reasonable. But I do think that Octavian doesn't deserve all the hate that he gets from the fandom. I mean, he did some bad things, but everyone hates him so much, and I personally never understood why. Whoa, this is a long one. Argo 2 is swag, has a lot for us. <laughs> So, Jason's death wasn't sad. It wasn't that sad. Luke deserved what he got and should not have went to Elysium, which I actually agree with. Like, Luke, he was, you know, he killed so much people just because he was, like, bitter at his dad, so he just wanted to throw the entire Olympian race down. And I don't think, I feel like he finally just realized that what he's doing is not a good thing, right? It could throw the whole world into chaos. And then... He he stopped himself from doing it, which I think is a good thing, but I don't think he deserved to go to Elysium. Maybe Asphodel, because, you know, he started something bad, and then he just, you know... Like, if there was something between Asphodel and the Fields of Punishment, I think that would be where to put Luke. But for now, since there isn't, I'm going to just round it up and put him in Asphodel. Kaleo is toxic, which I don't understand since Kaleo, I wouldn't say it's toxic, but I don't understand Kaleo at all since Leo just spent a week on, what was it called, Ojigia, and, you know, Calypso ended up falling for him in that one week. That doesn't make any sense at all. Coach Hedge is so underrated. Sure, yeah. Grover is a way better friend to Percy than Jason. I mean, Grover is an okay friend to Percy, but yeah, I feel like he's better than Jason. Drew deserved redemption. Yeah, I like it when villains get redemption, mostly. Octavian should have gotten more depth, which is definitely true, because, I mean, he was just slowly going crazy, abusing his power, and if there was more depth to that, I feel like, like that would have been really good writing, I mean... Percy shouldn't be in the Seven, which I don't really agree with, sorry. Sadie from the King Chronicles is a good character. She was more interesting than Carter, which is also true because I liked Sadie's sassy jokes. The Hunters of Artemis weren't cool. They were just hypocritical and a bad example of feminism. I feel like the Hunters of Artemis aren't, you know, they are kind of bad examples of feminism today. But I also think that the Hunters of Artemis are true to what they actually were in ancient Greek times. So, yeah. Piper was selfish and was so caught up in her love life, she didn't know that her only real friend was spiraling. And this one I don't understand because who are they talking about, like, when they say her only real friend? Leo? Because I can understand the love life thing, maybe with Jason, or was it with that girl, Shell, like, you know, in Trials of Apollo? 
and you know the real friend was Apollo. I don't know, so I can't really say anything about this one. Frank isn't a super interesting character and was quite bland. I I like Frank. I, he, I mean, he could have been better, but I like Frank. Leo had a right to be mad and rude at Frank, which I don't like. Because I don't think I don't agree with this one because you know, being rude is just rude. <laughs> you shouldn't be rude. <laughs> it's just rude. Hera isn't a bad goddess and is better than Artemis, Athena, and Poseidon. Well, Hera isn't. I mean, I I understand why Hera got mad at Zeus because you know, he promised to be faithful and then wasn't. But I feel like. She went overboard. I mean, like killing and cursing demigods and their moms. That's a little bit overboard. Just divorce him or something. I mean, and yeah, let's go to the next one since we already looked at all of these. And here's another one by Dirwirma Fam Uena. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I don't know how. Persebeth is overrated. Frazel and Solangelo are a lot better. I really like Frazel. It's cute. And Solangelo is awesome. It's cute-er. Annabeth is so overrated. She's the most overrated character that I've seen. I mean, I understand why some people like Annabeth because, you know, she's good at thinking, like, thinking on her feet and stuff. And it, she shows that you don't have to have crazy wild powers to defeat villains. Like, But she is kind of controlling and bossy sometimes, so that's kind of annoying. Blood of Olympus isn't actually a bad book, thanks to Nico and Reyna's perspectives. I like Nico's and Reyna's perspectives. Heroes of Olympus has bad writing in general, which I don't understand. I think it had okay writing. Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, and what is HOH? What does HOH stand for? What? Guys, what does HOH stand for again? Okay, MOA and HOH is confusing. Like, a lot of stuff happened, and the major ones are hard to notice because of all the slight side plots. Bad writing. Uh, okay. I mean, I don't remember the side, side plots in Magnus Chase, but okay. Trials of Apollo has the best writing out of the Camp Half-Blood series, which I, I think is true because Trials of Apollo was pretty hilarious, and it was nice seeing, like, Apollo. He was so confused since he was a former god, but, you know, he got thrown into this, and it was pretty well written. Also, I really liked the haikus at the beginning of the series. I mean, not series, chapters. So those were funny. L Luke is actually a great character, one of my favorites, which I don't understand. Jason is not bland or boring. He had character development throughout Heroes of Olympus and even jokes in his perspectives. And he doesn't deserve all the hate. So I guess he, w he was okay developed. And he does joke in his point of views, but he could have been developed more, I mean. And lastly, but not least, Brick shouldn't be shipped with Jason. It should be shipped with Hairbrush, which I don't understand. Brayson all the way, even more than, you know, Jasper. Brayson all the way. So that brings us to the end of our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe and click the bell button to get notified when I post new videos. And if any of you read Keeper of the Lost Cities, well, I mean, if you don't, I recommend it to you. Go read it, please. And if you do, I'm posting another video today, continuing off last week's video called, you know, it's from the Wattpad fanfiction called Keep Your Velocities During COVID. So if you want to, check that out. And if any of you actually have suggestions for what I should do for my next video, put them down in the comments below. So happy watching and bye.